With paper making, there, it's a couple of different plant fibers that I use. Um, there's a variety, but what I like to use is cotton and abaca. And cotton, you know, is just like what your clothes are made of, but it's been cut twice. It's called second cut. So it's a little shorter fiber, so you can actually tear this. It's very soft, supple, and it's really good for uh, when you're sculpting. Um, I also mix with it something called abaca. In abaca, you can't tear while it's dry because the fibers link so tightly together. And this is from the Philippines and tropical places. The, um, the fiber is uh, from the banana leaf family. So it's very sturdy, and this gives me the support for the structures too, for my sculpture. Now when I combine the two, I usually use a pail like this. I dip the um, pulp, that's what I call it, pulp, into the water, and if I get it wet enough, then I can actually tear the abaca off this kind of sheet that I get. I get this from the company in a sheet form. So I can tear this, and then I break it up into pieces. The abaca breaks up so easily uh, once it hits the water which is kind of interesting, whereas the cotton fiber takes a little more beating. And this is the cotton fiber, said, and I'll just tear up bits of this too. I've already have a pail full of uh, fiber, so I don't have to do too much. Now this is the noisy part that the kids always love when I'm doing my art classes with them and paper making, is uh, the drill. And this is beating it to a pulp, the pulp to a pulp. which are things that uh, can throw into the fibers to make them pop, make them stand out a little bit. So um, we can add different types of glitter. Some people add uh, dried flowers, that you can do too. But this looks like fun. This has kind of an opalescent tinge to it. Which Kind of cool. And then my party store glitter. Oh, gorgeous. I feel like the cooking shower. 